here I have East Turkestan and today I'm going to be playing Age of History 2 as East Turkestan. This country existed from 1933 uh, from 1933 during the Chinese breakup whatever you call it and yes i'm i'm going to be playing as east turkestan or xingxiang let's go see we have the money stuff i'm gonna increase the taxes and all that stuff this is what we make that's the money this is movement points and diplomacy points. Technology is useful because it basic it's basically your stats. So I'm gonna up to 25 in military because military is always important. Yeah. And then five. So one. Three, four, and then one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And that is 39 technology points. In Tibet, Mongolia, uh, and she based on Ma, or the Soviet Union, Afghanistan, and the British Raj are countries that we border. We do start with 25,000 people, so yeah. Let's make China under East Turkestan. And um, yeah, so, and if you, before you question my nationality and what that language was, I am Russian. And yeah, so this will eventually join um, the Soviet Union. So on the first term, who should we befriend or as I would call invade? Well, no, not gonna invade anyone yet. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I've Afghanistan likes us, so this, that, and now if we go to, yeah, so next, um, we are losing money due to our military, so I was going to Europe and see who likes us, oh, uh, and yes, this is um, World War II because this is when East Turkestan existed. So basically, um, Germany might go on a rampage, might not. We don't know. But not much of Europe is really a fan of East Turkestan. Especially Germany. Germany is hungry. Yep. Okay, let's see. Greece. Switzerland. Let's see. The UK. Ireland, who has gotten its independence. Um, yeah, Ireland has gotten its independence. I think I might invade Tibet first. It's big, it'll help our land area. And, um, yeah, it's kind of pretty cool in general. So... Reason oh yeah, diplomacy points. This is really important. Every turn we get that, and depending on, and each one of these, 
is 1.5, 0.5, so, yes, and time to declare a war, a war on our beloved friend, Tibet. Tibet, shocked by this danger, can't really do anything, because it's kind of weak. Um, sorry if I'm not talking much here, but, um, yes, our tr- we are now in debt to our self if that makes any sense to you yes you can you we are in debt to our self i don't know if tibet really has a military so if it doesn't that's great because if it doesn't then um yeah i don't think tibet has a military it's kind of just currently really broke Oh, and if you're a fan of meat borders, you should click off the video. These borders are not good. At all. But if you are a fan of unclean borders, here you go. It's really weird. As you can see, I am almost done with Tibet. And after this turn, Tibet will die. Oh, never mind. Tibet shall live with its only capital. Now Tibet has fallen. Need to regain military endurance and hopefully I think I'm going to change my capital to be right there if um no not right there move capital so forty for seven thousand oh my god that's a lot of money if we can maybe get this if we can um earn more money then we might be able to uh, invade Shibasama, which I don't know what that means, but it's something in Chinese. I think not many people like me now, especially. Yeah, Europe isn't really a fan of me anymore. So, let's see. One, two, three, four, five provinces border Shibai-sama. So then, if I have five, th- around 4,000 people here, and then move 12,000 people there, then then move another 8,000 over there. Every province should have around 4,000 people, which is pretty good, not gonna lie. And um, yes, Mongolia is communist right now, so don't wanna declare war yet because I'm going to be absolutely dish, actually, let's go to war. We need more land land more 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 oh god yeah i made him i may have may or may not made a slight misconception but anyway 
let's go further in. They have lost their capital really easily, which is kind of surprising. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's around, I'm gonna do around. Just dividing all of these guys in half, cause that's the easiest way. And then one, two, three, four. Tibet has come back. And the, something of this game is that if, if you invade a province that isn't yours while you're at war, and the, that, you, that province bec goes back to the original owner of the province. Oh, we have lost our capital. Great. Yeah, I'm not the greatest at this game, as you can see. But, let's see. One, two, three. So, hopefully we survive this. I could probably sign a peace treaty. Holy, how are the... How are they getting such massive armies here? I think I might just sign a peace treaty with this guy because I'm not winning this war if anything. He declined our peace treaty, what a jerk. I mean, no, he's, he's fine. I, as the leader of East Turkestan, am not going to take a loan. But, what I am going to do is to probably not invade this guy ever again if I win, which I probably won't. Great, I'm losing even more provinces. At least I have my capital. One, two, three, f another three, so maybe around that is going to be approximately somewhat, somewhat a third, thirds. These are not supply provinces or diseases. So we don't want that, because then we lose provinces. Hmm, let's see. Will Afghanistan help me in this great war? As you can see, I am clearly not great. Right now, I'm not in a great position. Um, yeah, I kind of lost my land. So, yeah, let's just go exit new game. Hurt. Take two. And, um, if you want my settings, there. If you, AI aggressiveness 100. Aggressive 100. Yes, there. We start, we shall start again. And this time, maybe put a little bit less water, a bit more into to that, and then let's just put the rest into military. This goes up to that, this goes up to that, and that goes up to that. So, 
not invading this guy. Definitely. Mm. Let's see. I'll invade Tibet and then maybe these two. These two, Bhutan and Nepal. And then. And then hopefully I can get through this guy and then surround him and invade from all sides. So that's the plan. Delete China out of existence. This China, not all of China. This does really a lot of Qing Dynasty these borders but let's go and i'm also gonna set my capital to like actually no i'm not as we saw from last time tibet is a pretty weak country so we can easily invade that with basically no resistance basically yes okay ottoman i may have abolished you but may have not if you're watching if you're gonna be ever watching this so yeah i think if, if i lose to the bet i'm gonna end if i lose to the bet i'm ending this because i don't want to lose to such a tiny country i think i might actually lose to tibet again oh no not again but i'll lose again Ooh, new subscribers, Sudan Mapping, thank you. Really appreciate that. And now I have taken Tibet's capital. And I have taken Tibet's capital. And now this has capital border is one, two, three, four, five. So that's that split, split, and split. And yes, I am in debt right now, sadly. Tibet has fallen, almost. And as Tibet tries to survive, it fails. And I don't want to make this video too long to bore you guys, so next episode will be next time see you next time as i said 